first rule. Buy as many pit droids as you can. The pit droids is actually the key. They will help you tremendously. Usually, I will actually go ahead, go to the junkyard, and I will pick out something here. This is where I got almost every upgrade. Alright, so here I am on a new account. So I'm starting off with nothing. Wow, block six right away. I wish I had all the money for that. What the pit droids do is they repair things. So everything that you see that is a little bit weaker, if I were to buy it, my pit droids... You know what? Sure. <clears throat> now, that really shows you when you begin versus, you know, much better things. That one's, on, uh, I'd say, about 60% energy. But it's still so much better than what I already have. Cluster 2 power plug. This is the best you can get, and I don't have the money. Man, it's just throwing the best at me right now. That's not the best, but jeez. Everything else just is so nice. Alright, I'm not going to show you the next race. However, I am going to show you that, uh, you know, when you have enough, you want to buy a p uh, pit droid. So, right now... Everything is maxed out except I bought this stack six radiator. Everything else is maxed out. I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end of the race. Here, here's a good one. All right, so actually he will give me four truggets if I trade him my worst of the worst radiator for a stack three. Now this is low energy, but if I have pit droids, they can repair it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. One of the best ways to make truggets on the side, instead of just races, is when you have maxed out pit droids, you go ahead and buy the Mark, v Mark V, and then later on, you'll see it, some other air brake come up. And you can sell the Mark V, usually, for a better price. Air brakes are the best on this, because usually you don't use air brakes. However, you don't want to go on a harsh course like the one I just chose. So, if you're doing that, I suggest, you know, the training course. Um, not Mongaza. It It's a really quick race, even though it's easy. It's really quick. Um, Aquarius Classic is good. Sunken City is pretty good, as long as you don't crash. That's the main key. If you're trying to do that, do not crash. Vehicle. Now you see, one pit droid could fix one thing. Now, the track was pretty, you know, simple. I didn't crash or anything. So now everything's maxed out. That would be worth it. I'm only paying 33 truckets just for this. And it's stronger. That would be really smart, too. But, I can buy two droids, so... I'm going to pass on it this time. Now... Buy a pit droid. Buy a pit droid. Can't get the last one yet. Now everything's maxed out except this. When you start getting a lot more junk from the junkyard, more droids make it repairing easier. Also, on the later uh, tracks you are going to wish you had more pit droids because holy cow. So, it occurred to me when I was editing, I never really showed any of the, or all of the upgrades and what they're called. So let's go down the list. The best of the best of the best, sir, with the honors. 600 repulsor grip, control stabilizer, max six injector, Block 6 thrust coil, quadrajet air brake, turbo coolant pump, cluster 2 power plug, and all the pit droids. That is the max upgrades you can get. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change to bullseye. It takes a while to unlock him. Now, I'm just going to choose him so you can see. Every upgrade that you purchase is going to be the same 
for whatever pod racer you have. It's something that you wouldn't think of, but that's how it is. So you see that I have the block 6 thrust coil in this also, just like I had in Anakin's. Same with the acceleration. Another trick, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but I'll give you this example. There's a quad 44 injector in the junkyard right now. Okay. Air jets try, basic control coupling, block 6 thrust coil. Now, usually I would actually buy this just because it's the same. It's a little bit better. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Now, if I go ahead and switch vehicles, and I'll go all the way to Anakin just because. Go back to the junkyard. Bam. Not the same things at all. Oh, Max 6, look at that. That's convenient. I will buy that. This is something that does exist in the game. I don't know if it's intentional or if it's a bug, but you can utilize this if you want to. Alright, now I'm going to start the race. in the capital city of Mayanitsa. Our host, the eminent high priestess, Maya Fagya, has taken her place at the balcony. Whew. All right. <clears throat> and right here is where you, you do want to use the brakes, even though I said earlier you almost never do. Whew. And that's why these hairpin turns are a nightmare. <coughs> now, you see the boost right there. I, I press whew, down on my stick. And then you press X. When you do that, it gives you a strong boost. However, if you hit a wall, you will crash. Ooh. Now see, I just backed off on that. It's working. It's working. <clears throat> yes, Anakin, it's working. Yeah, what was I saying? Whew. Sorry, I'm concentrating. <laughs> Alright. Now... You see that I barely scraped, oh, there, like that, see, I didn't slow down. I barely scraped when I was using that boost, but it, um, I let off the boost just before I hit, and I still took on significant damage. <clears throat> now that extra boost that you keep seeing me use, when the when the whew, when the light is green, that's the only time you can use it. All right, Pretty good hairpin turns. There we go, this boost right here. That will burn out your top speed when you're done. Oh, that bridge almost got me. Now you, you'll see that even though the, my right uh, yeah, my right side is damaged, I can turn easier, and it's because there's less power coming from that engine. So it'll turn easier for me. It's also not good though, because obviously it'll break earlier. Now, 
on these hairpins this time, I'm not using the brakes as much, and I'm just letting it kind of go by itself. You see my acceleration is better. They've repaired that quite a bit. I didn't use my top speed nearly as much as I thought, so that actually pretty much stayed the same. I didn't hold my brakes all the time uh, on that last lap, so droids were able to repair this. Again, max droids. That's what's helping me the most right now. This slightly improved, which is really surprising. Turning got a little bit worse. No, um, acceleration's about the same. So anyways, yes. Buy as many pit droids as you can. Uh, when you unlock rats, holy cow, top speed. Beto, when you do Beto's ri wild ride. He's, uh, he's risky, I'll say that. He's not the greatest traction turner. His air brake is good, but he's all speed. Uh, Mahonic, ah, he's fun. I think he's balanced. Bumpy Roos, I, I like him, but he has such a big pod racer. Sandage is all traction. Um, actually, to almost to a fault, like he turns really, really sharp. <clears throat> Mars, I like him, but again, his pod racer is so bulky. Here we go with EBA and the cot. Man, he's good. Again, I believe he is the best overall. He's the most balanced. Uh, the, the only bad thing he has is air brakes. Everything else was great. Uh, Dud Bolt, if you want good traction, uh, reliable, go with him. Don't go with Gascano. It's going to hurt. Clegg Holdfast, here we go. Another really good average. Um, he's not the best in, in anything, but he's great at everything. So he's like the jack-of-all-trades. Elon Musk. Uh, Neva Key. Neva Key's in a weird spot. Um, you see everyone else has that gap where they have the... Uh, I can't, can't remember what it's called. But pretty much it's the connection between the engines. Neva Key went... Old school and backwards. There is no linkage. It's all one unit. Now this is good and bad. It's good because look at the traction. The traction is amazing. It's bad because the traction is amazing. Pretty much when you turn, it is the most responsive it can be with Neva Key. I've gotten best races with him, depending on the track. Uh, Bozzy, eh, okay at everything. Bulls Roar, never really raced with him. Odie, he's pretty sweet. Fud saying, bulky, I wouldn't really race with him unless you want to. If you want top speed, here you go. This guy's all speed, and I mean, with four engines, what do you expect? Slide Paramita. This guy is insane. Toy Dampner, he's, again, like a jack of all trades. Except slightly better, but it's a while until you unlock him. Bullseye, or as I call him, the Teletubby. If you want just easy mode... You go with him. So I hope this serves as some sort of a guide uh, for tips and tricks for anyone who wants to play Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer. Anyways, have a good one.